Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this unplanned, unseen video. This is where we take a look at things that are happening on social media. And we're going to start with this Wyatt Six folder. Uh, here you can see an entrance from Fanatics Fest. Kind of takes its time. It's uh, quite slow, uh, but I really like that. We did look at an entrance in the Wyatt Six video that we did earlier. And uh, I was saying, I think too many people rush these entrances like the music hits they come walking out um like i don't know sometimes you see them and they don't really pose or do anything i think there's like nerves involved that is not what is happening here look at this we've even got the the hand gesture as well as uh, uncle howdy makes his way down the entranceway and uh, they're doing a great job with this there was a brilliant one yesterday where someone did the fiend so uh, here, what's the status? I don't know if that was what's the status, but they did a fantastic job. So Spartan, shout out to you. And I just wanted to touch on this because I don't think this is anything. I got tagged in this quite a bit, right? So uh, this is the end of an Alexa Bliss kind of promo trailer. And then it immediately goes into, or the next one that follows is a Raw trailer. But the way this has been cut it looks like it's the same video. It isn't. It's two separate trailers, but the way it's been cut is quite, I don't want to say deceptive, but uh, here, look, we've got this. So it's 20 seconds long. This is the end of the Alexa Bliss trailer, a trailer that we've seen quite a few times over the years. This is not new or anything like that. Um, and then it just goes into a raw trailer, but people are under the impression that this means that she's coming back tonight. Uh, so let's play this look. So here, there's like laughing in the background. Um, it says pure bliss. Then that ends and then boom, it goes into... A raw trailer. Uh, to me, there's nothing to this. Uh, 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 there's nothing there that's suggesting that Alexa's part of this show. Some people might say, oh, it's interesting they've put them together. No. That trailer plays all the time. Like, the fact that a raw trailer has followed it is of no note whatsoever. So uh, I don't put anything into that personally. Right. So that was Wyatt Six. Let's go WWE. So The Undertaker is really high on Ludwig Kaiser. He said he spoke to him on the Raw after SummerSlam, said that uh, he told him a few things and Ludwig was like, that's exactly how I've been feeling. So Undertaker's like really high on Ludwig Kaiser is, is looking forward to seeing him like break out. And they have tried a few things. Obviously, he's been in a feud with Sheamus. Um, I don't know how successful that was. I think the match I remember the match being really good, but um, I don't know. I think he's got uh, obviously quite a long road ahead of him, but with the right attitude and certainly the right creative, I think he can get there. Having Undertaker in your corner is no bad thing, is it? So Spartan, shout out to you. These are the five most searched WWE superstars of the past 10 years. John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, and Spudman. So we've got all of these uh, five are the five most searched uh, over the past 10 years. I don't think there's any surprises there, to be honest. If you think about who has been the top stars over the last 10 years, I think we probably could have guessed at that. Maybe a Rey Mysterio. Maybe. Maybe a Rey. Maybe a Becky Lynch. Maybe a Seth Rollins. Those would be the other names I'd be thinking. I'd imagine certainly Becky and Seth would be featuring in the top 10. But um, yeah, I don't know if there's any great surprises on the top five. Spartan again, just tagging me in this from Fightful, that there's going to be a taping uh, on Tuesday because for NXT, they're going to go live and there'll be a taping. And that's because the company is going to Germany for Bash in Berlin. So that's interesting. So unfortunately, it does mean that one of the NXTs coming up will be a taped show. Johnny, shout out to you. Yeah, this was everywhere yesterday. So apparently Triple H scrolls through Twitter whilst he's sat in the gorilla position so that he can keep an eye on the reaction. I would imagine he probably just goes to WWE Raw or WWE and just kind of goes through the latest posts and just reads what people are saying. I don't mind that personally. I think it's probably good to have an eye 
on what is being said on Twitter. It gives you a bit of a gauge, a live reaction, a live gauge. Obviously, there's other indicators as well. We know that the internet wrestling community is only a very small part of the wrestling community. Um, and Tony Khan got quite a bit of criticism for doing something similar to this, um, pandering to the internet wrestling community. So I don't think that's a trap that he's going to fall into. Uh, but it's probably good that at least he's aware as to what's being said, you know. So certainly I don't think Vince was. Vince, I don't think, gave a flip, but um, there we go. Just another difference between the two. Okay, we're going to talk about Meltzer because this all blew up. Do you remember there was, I think we've got it here actually, this post, um, and I was questioning it, right? I was saying, is this right? It, like 288 million a year, that's how much AEW are worth, right? So uh, we were speaking about this in the last Unseen. I thought this was a very interesting post. Uh, it's from Dave. It's from his message boards. Uh, Dave Meltzer, by the way. It's from his message boards. And uh, I thought this was really interesting, right? Um, it's since come out, though, that apparently someone created this that apparently works in advertising. And they've generated, like, you know, uh, some numbers and they've come out with 288 million, right? So here, let's get upset, says Dave Meltzer. Hey, Big Dave. Is this what you were referencing on the board? Some guy who claims that he works in advertising adjacent fields made this up, posted it on a random Discord server several months ago, right? So someone made this up that claims to work in advertising, um, and now Dave is sort of passing it off as an internal memo, right? Uh, here, Meltzer said, what, the plot thickens, um, David Bixenspan, though, seems to have come to Dave's defense. So he says, OK, basically, the numbers that Dave is claiming were from an internal Warner Brother Discovery memo he had leaked to him do match up exactly to an estimate that someone who works in the ad industry put together and shared on the Fightful Discord. So according to David Bixenspan, right, he seems to be suggesting that Dave, maybe he's reached out to Dave and Dave has said, no, that's not where I got my information from. Is it just coincidence? And people are going to say that's one hell of a coincidence. Is it just coincidence? Dave has genuinely seen an internal memo that says that AEW is worth about 288 million. And then completely separately, some dude has uh, run his own numbers and come out with the exact same number. I mean, I don't know that it's exactly the same. He's got 288,322,000. Dave was claiming 288,265,000. It's a very specific number that does not exactly match this. But it ain't out by much, is it? It's out by, what, 60,000? I mean, if that has happened, this guy, whoever has put this together, has, I mean, killed it. <laughs> Just amazing. I know this is like inside baseball. There's obviously a lot of conversation around Dave Meltzer at the moment. People are not very trustworthy right now as to what he's saying. We did a video on him yesterday, which I'm not going to say he got heated, but it's quite clear the temperature is very high around Dave, like... There's, I, I think, a lot of genuine anger around Dave uh, because there's a lot of belief that he favours AEW, that he's not fair, that he's biased, that he makes stuff up, he's a liar. All this stuff came out in that video, right? I, I'm still going to say what I've said before. I think we need to turn the temperature down, but I just wanted to kind of flesh this out a little bit more because we did touch on this the other day. So, yeah, there we go. That is uh, the Meltzer folder. Make of that what you will, right? Fun phone case. Uh, so, mm -hmm. a big thank you to everyone that's uh, tagged me in this. So, NWL Ninja Jelly. Um, that is a fun phone case. It is actually because it looks to be the same color as her hair, which is pretty mental. Uh, and again, it's got that slit in, which I was told... That is for credit cards or something. You can, like, slip your credit cards into there. So, I mean, there is actually a lot going on here. 
there is actually a lot going on so that that is very impressive she's even got like you see the kind of like gray why you would dye your hair gray i've no idea i mean i do but whatever uh going into uh like purple and it i feel like this is gray going into purple as well like it, that is mental that is mental I can only imagine she dyed her hair these specific colours because she's so desperate to get into this folder. That's, that's my only takeaway. Uh, here, we've got WWE Ethan. I must admit, I looked at this and I was like, nah, that's not fun. I struggled to find the fun. And then I realised she's wearing a top the same colour uh, as her phone, so we do have symmetry. So I do appreciate that. But is there a case on this? Is it a transparent case? I think there is, looking at the edges. I think I think there is a case on that. But again, answers on a postcard. This, this may be a massive debate that rages in the community. Does this phone have a case on it? I'm leaning yes. Some of you might be thinking no. The only person that truly knows is the phone. Uh, and here's Aaron. He said, this is me watching Unseen, trying to focus on the phone cases. There we go. Look, he's got the glasses on. He's really focused in, really trying to find. I mean, certainly on this one here, you know that he's studying this image very hard, closely. And uh, like, the, like the hair and the phone. Yeah, I could, in my mind, Aaron's like that close to the screen right now. So Aaron... There you go. That's for you, but that's for you. Okay, that was the fun phone case folder. Uh, fanatics. Oh, God, this is going to be huge, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Punk's reaction to a dude asking him to unblock him. So this dude said, well, you like unblock me. And um, uh, Punk's, Punk's reaction was not really anything, to be honest. He, he kind of signs. The dude's like, will you unblock me? And then you can see Punk's face in a second, just like, a bit confused there do you see that moment where he just goes i think he says uh probably not at the end so uh the dude was absolutely fine but he does turn around to punk and say well you won't block me on instagram punk's head kind of goes to the side like a dog uh and he goes probably not uh and so that was that so uh batman shout out to you wwe ethan yeets it is true there we have got uh, Rhea Ripley with a yeet bracelet. I mean, she could give one of those to CM Punk and we could just all move on with our lives. Uh, McIntyre with some words. So, yeah, he wants John Cena during his farewell tour, basically. Uh, he just goes on to say that, he, you know, he, he will beat John in the ring. He'll beat him on the microphone, something that not many people have done. Uh, and he says he hopes that he'll send him packing as well as CM Punk. Jay Beans, shout out to you. This is interesting because I kind of feel like this is Rhea maybe getting a little bit frustrated because this is her coming back as a face. But of course, uh, we know that Liv has got her fans, her stands. And so they're kind of making life a bit difficult for Rhea because the Liv stands are with Liv. Rhea, uh, as a result, ends up like fighting these battles, right? So here's another one that she fights. They really don't. Do you love Dom or do you hate Dom? Because like two minutes ago when D Liv didn't care about him, y'all didn't care about him and now he's like the best thing that's ever happened in your life. Mm. Second of all, y'all want me to apologize for my actions? How about asking Roman to apologize for his actions? <sighs> or should I just say acknowledge me as well? See, she thinks she's cooked there, right? The problem is, though, she's a baby face. So I don't know that it looks that great, her going off on the fans, uh, like when she's trying to be the baby face in this feud. So I don't know, man. That ain't the response I would be. Uh, my response would be more along the lines of, I know that I've made mistakes. Uh, I know that things have been wrong in the past, but I can see the path I need to be on now. I, I can see the person that I'm meant to be now. And I know that I'm better off without Dominic in my life. So I want to take this opportunity to thank Liv for taking that burden, that baggage off of my shoulders and helping me become 
a better person as a result. So I, for me, it would be something along those lines. Instead, she goes full, like, she goes to war. <laughs> you want me to apologize? What about Roman? You don't want Roman apologizing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know that was the right way to deal with it, but uh, I think the crowd sort of got to her a little bit. Here, Spartan says, uh, Heyman states that he doesn't think we're even in, even in the third innings yet in regards to the Bloodline story, so that's interesting. That was with Sam Roberts at Fanatics Fest. Uh, here's uh, Big E uh, with uh, Luke Harper's son, so Brody Lee Jr., uh, which is uh, nice. And Eric Rowan just commented just a, a green heart emoji as well on this post, which was nice to see. Uh, word of wrestling, shout out to you. Yeah. So uh, here we've got Rhea kind of making her way out to do an entrance. I thought this was pretty funny because I was like, why didn't she allow the fans to walk out with her? She kind of comes out on her own. And the, the, the young girls that she's doing the entrance with, they're just sort of waiting for her. <laughs> <laughs> so that they can do this bit here, uh, like, all together. I'm sure they don't mind. Um, but I was quite surprised that they didn't all come walking out together, you know? So, obviously, this has been a main part of Fanatics Fest, uh, having the superstars, like, coming out and doing, the, um, and, like, you know, the people that are there doing the superstar entrances. Like this one here as well. So uh, LA Knight came out, right? Big pop for him. Huge pop. Uh, he comes out and he's like, let me talk to you. And then he introduces little baby, which means nothing to me. But uh, apparently he's one of those uh, hippity hoppers. So there he is look, with his own little babies. So lots of babies making their entrance there. Uh, here, update on Paul Heyman's inevitable return. I like this word of wrestling. I think this is uh, really interesting. So this is Heyman saying that when he comes back, he wants it to mean something. He's going to set up a year worth of storylines. I will come back when it's relevant for me to come back, when I need to come back, when I can add to Roman Reigns not just ride his coattails and hang off of his glory. So there he says, I want you lot to, when I come back, say, oh, I love the tribal chief, but I love him so much more with the wise man. So uh, I really like that from Paul. I really like that. Uh, here, Cody Rhodes fans were left disappointed. I have seen some complaints online. Apparently, the I, I think the uh, the people that wanted to see him was just an overwhelming number, to be honest. I mean, one thing we know about Cody is he ain't going to let people down. He ain't going to go and not want to meet as many people as possible. But there seems to have been some sort of admin error where I don't know if they sold too many tickets or if it's people that didn't get tickets that are disappointed. Or I, I, I really don't know. But, um, yeah, well, it says here, look, the fans that paid to see Cody but didn't get the opportunity. I don't know quite what that means, but one thing I know about Cody is he ain't going to be leaving people, like, waiting for no reason whatsoever. Like, there's clearly been some sort of admin error there at Fanatics Fest. So, yeah, disappointing that. Uh, this as well, like, I do, I wanted to include this because of this woman. She is not letting that girl meet Rhea at all. And it's Rhea that has to go, you know, because Rhea goes, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They hug for quite a while, actually. I've never even hugged a family member this long. I mean, look. <laughs> it's all right. You can like, let her go now. You can let her go. If I was this girl's parents, I'd be like, are you adopted or what's happening here? So uh, there we go. But I wanted to include it because I love this woman. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's only when Rhea's like, no, no, yeah, it's fine. But uh, the woman lets her through. Uh, right, Rhea Ripley picks her favorite wrestler currently. Uh, here's another question. Uh, Rhea, who is your favorite wrestler right now? Ooh. Right now? Yes, da Damien Priest aside. Whoa! Here we go. One word answer. Yeet. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, yeet. Right, going to the uh, fun fold. Look at this. 
LA Knight's arm apparently is the same as Logan's. So they've just basically taken Logan's arm and uh, and the belt and they've used that to create this new render. That apparently is not LA Knight's arm. How bad is that? Let's see if we can go full screen on it. So you can sort of see that it's like awkward, actually. You can sort of see that it's not quite right. And then uh, if you go over, it's, it's the same arm, isn't it? It's the same arm. It's just been made bigger here uh, as opposed to when it's there. So <laughs> using Logan Paul's arm. So very well spotted there from, uh, I believe that was spotted by WrestleTalk. They're certainly the ones uh, that I saw mention it. Right, uh, let's go uh, back over here. Uh, Drew shows off his uh, custom signature. So he signed it, and it also says F-U-C-M Punk, which is written on there. Uh, here's Chelsea Green. You. These people all came here to see one star. <laughs> that ain't what she wanted. She really grabs him and pulls him around. Go! Very good. Very good. It was a little bit of a walk, but it was worth it when we got there. Right, new graphic for NXT No Mercy looks uh, really cool. Sunday, September 1st will be live for that, of course. Uh, Jay Dono said that time that Big Show came out as Peter Griffin. Love that. Love that, Jay. Shout out to you. Uh, Miss Clown, thank you. It is true. We've got uh, these girls are going to be on Family Feuds. I was joking online that Bianca's the only one wearing black. So that means she's going to turn heel soon. Uh, I was only joking. Um, but yeah, so you can see these on Family Feud. I, I don't know if they're up against the men of WWE. I'd imagine they are. It, so it says catch the women of WWE as they battle it out. I'm guessing against the men, but I've not seen the men's team. I uh, love this. Nails and NY. Shout out to you. Look at this cat with this black mullet. Mullet. And uh, Nails and MY just tagged me in this because obviously it is clearly channeling its inner Dominic Mysterio. I do love that. I do love that. Let's see if we can uh, click on this. Get it go. Will it go bigger? <laughs> that was a bit too big. <laughs> uh, so uh, there we go. That is the uh, cat mullet. Look at that. Very impressive. Very impressive. So that was that. Uh, down here, we had a little bit of back and forth between Theory and the kids. You know how much money I make? You get out of here. Yeah, I make. My dad makes more than you, Lou. Oh, yeah, but his ass ain't on TV. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But guess what? Guess what? He's on the radio. Station. He's on the radio. So shut up. Yeah, and he didn't beat John Cena at WrestleMania. <laughs> he didn't beat John Cena at WrestleMania. Look, this kid gets so worked up, the shirt comes off, man. <laughs> so uh, that guy comes over, it gets concerned. The security guard is like, no, let's calm this down. So these two have a right back and forth. So uh, there we go, Theory and some kids. Uh, here we've got uh, Trick William. Trick Williams in the kitchen with Lash Legends. So uh, Trick filming for Lash's cooking show. I didn't even know she had a cooking show. But there we go. Uh, Trick in the kitchen uh, with Lash's cooking show. Here we've got Drew. So he makes his way out. CM Punk's music is playing. Uh, he goes down onto one knee. Points at the bracelets. It's really funny, actually, because I don't know. I, I, the crowd don't seem to know that it's Drew. But that, maybe they thought it was just a member of the public. I'm pretty sure they knew it wasn't punk. But, like, he uh, takes the hood back. There's a 
massive crowd. So they must have known it was true. But there was a big reaction when he uh, revealed who he was. So uh, there we go. Drew. Also, again, FCM Punk. Lots of love, Drew. On a Chicago flag as well. So Jay, shout out to you. <laughs> this was good. This was really good. Look at this. Look at his face. I think someone threw the tribal chief in the dryer. I think someone threw the tribal chief in the dryer. Ah. Oh, yeah, this was everywhere. So this guy going absolutely crazy, right? Roman, Roman, Roman comes out. It's another one of those classic. We have seen a clip like this before. This is where, like, Roman's making his way out. The camera goes back onto the dudes. That's when the pyro goes. He's like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> the pyro properly catching uh him off uh off guard so very good ashma shout out to you my friends uh la night in a commercial this is an aldi commercial look at this, this. dinner party is going to be fabulous let's see tiffany top this so this is where you've been getting these specialty brands who knew whether you're hosting a formal dinner party or having the neighbors over for a cookout, shop Aldi Smart because Aldi carries a double guarantee on delicious gourmet items, fresh produce, and the Aldi specialty brands you use every day. This food is delicious. Who cater? It's our little secret. Not anymore. Not anymore. Find your Aldi store at shopaldismart.com. <laughs> this dinner party. <laughs> Did you see him in the corner there? <laughs> Who knew that the A in L-A stood for Aldi? Who knew? Who knew? Shop Aldi Smart. There we go. L-A night in an Aldi commercial. That's amazing. That's goated. So we've done fun. We've done WWE, Wyatt 6, Fanatics, Phone Case, Meltzer. Let's go into other. Mm, this is interesting. Spartan, thank you. The new cover art for Roman's new theme has got nine stars and they represent the nine WrestleMania main events, apparently, which is very fun. And uh, here as well, Word of Wrestling, shout out to you, JBL. JBL is actually here. Hey, so uh, in this uh, triple A, there he is. So this is... Nick Nemeth making his way down. And behind, you can actually see, look, JBL coming down with him. How amazing is that? Random. I mean, totally random, but very, very fun. The only other news, of course, that's uh, been quite big today is that Pat has announced that he is done with WWE. He's abandoning WWE uh, so that he can go back to football. Uh, so, um, yeah, a few people wondering if that means that the Wyatt Six might get involved with him on the show. Honestly, don't know. Um, I am obviously very excited about Ivy Nile and Maxine Dupree. I'm very excited about that because I think there is plenty of opportunity for Nikki to get involved. Maybe Uncle Howdy to make his presence felt. Um, obviously, if the rest of American made at ringside as well, then we may get the rest of the Wyatt Six. But will we get another video as well? That's another big question. We had Bo last week in quite a cryptic video. Will we get another video? So plenty of questions as we head to Raw. Our live stream will be starting at the time of recording this in a few hours. Uh, so as I said, I just wanted to get this out there because I know we won't get a chance to do an Unseen after Raw. It will be focused on the Wyatt Six. So I wanted to make sure we got the folders empty and ready for whatever is about to arrive so thanks for watching appreciate the support i'll see you next time bye for now